Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be making this easy DIY outdoor rug for under 40 bucks. And I'm going to share the whole process with you so you can make one too. As always, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So hit that red subscribe button if you'd like to stay up to date with new videos. So this whole process actually came about because I wanted an outdoor rug and I wanted to refresh our outdoor space. However, I did not want to pay the hefty price tag for these outdoor rugs. As you can see, they do get a little bit pricey. So I wanted something that was affordable but would last. I was also a little bit picky about the design. I wanted something a little bit more modern and something maybe with a geometric type design. So I ended up stumbling across this pattern and I really liked it so I thought I would try and recreate it. So I came across this gray basic 6x9 rug from Home Depot and the best part was it was only $19.98. So to get that geometric design that I really wanted, I decided to create my own stencil out of extra cardboard that we had in the garage. If you're interested in making this specific design, I will leave the measurements on a photo in the next slide. And naturally, I always use frog tape. It is the holy grail of masking tape. In my opinion, it is the best. So actually getting started was the most difficult part. I just put that first triangular piece on the very end of the rug and then taped around that stencil. The nice thing about this stencil is that you can also flip it the opposite way and it will create like a diamond type pattern, which is what I did in the middle. You will see that in a second, but I just went around and taped around it and then if any part hung over off the end it was not a big deal at all because that would not get painted anyway. Then with that triangular piece and the tape in place I then placed the thinner stencil up top and then taped around that one also. I really wasn't that particular about following them exactly because it's not going to be perfect it was just kind of like a guide the stencils were then once I lifted the stencils up and saw the design that I wanted it was pretty much exactly what I had in mind and it worked out really well so from that point on it was just um, like I said flipping the triangular piece and then putting that thinner piece above it So for this specific design, it's almost like you're starting half of the design on the end of the rug, and then as you move up the rug, you are mirroring or making the design whole towards the middle. And then one quick tip for the edges and the corners of these points, um, just make sure that your cuts are very clean and straight because I think that's what really helps um, in this geometric design is to have really clean corners and edges. And here is the rug about halfway through and I could see it really starting to take shape and my vision really coming to life. As I went along, I started to get a little bit more brave with the design and just kind of follow the triangular lines and um, just kind of eyeball it. I 
I did keep the stencil close by and just made sure that I referred to that for spacing and making sure that everything still lined up correctly. And here is the design once it was all taped off. For the very end, those pieces ended up coming out a little bit small, so I did only do two lines rather than the three on the end, but I think it just looked better that way. And for the next step, it was painting everything. So I found this Clark and Kensington paint and primer in one at Ace, and it is an exterior paint in the satin enamel. And I just applied this using a foam paint roller and the paint tray. You can find those at your local hardware store. And this was a really simple process. I just rolled everything on and probably took about an hour or so but it was really easy. Before I started painting, I made sure that the tape was very secure and attached to the carpet to make sure that nothing got underneath or caused any like bleeding or anything underneath. So because of the ribbed texture in this rug, it does make the paint go on like a little bit grainy if you can see, um, but I kind of liked that. It kind of put the white like up top and then left the gray behind it. If you wanted more coverage in your white, I would suggest to just go over it again once it's dry if you did want more white, but I kind of liked that the gray was peeking out a little bit, so I was pretty happy with it. And this paint dried super fast and it looked really, really good in the morning. So this is me going and taking all of the tape off. As you can see, the paint dried nice and even and I'm so glad that I got the exterior paint because it holds up so nice. And even weeks later, I have hosed this rug off so many times and it is still looking really, really great. Also, the amount of paint that I used, it did take me almost a whole quart to do this whole rug. So if you were going to do multiple layers of paint, I would suggest getting more paint than a quart. And this is what everything looked like once it was complete. And I think it was a really easy project, a very inexpensive project. All of this was done for under $40. I love the colors and the modern feel and the vibe it brings to our patio. So if you're interested in seeing how I incorporated this rug into our patio refresh, you will want to subscribe or stay tuned for that video because it will be coming up next along with more DIYs and decorating tips. So stay tuned and thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.